In this video, we're going to discuss a few of the features of the K-Rain Pro Plus adjustable rotor, show you how to change out a nozzle, and make some adjustments. I'm Dwayne Smith, your sprinkler warehouse product specialist. Let's get started. This is the K-Rain 11003 Pro Plus rotor. This rotor has a pop-up height of five inches, and it has a three-quarter inch inlet. The Pro Plus is both an adjustable pattern rotor and a continuous 360 degree rotor in one. You can set the pattern anywhere from 40 degrees to 360 degrees. When you set it to 360 degrees, it goes around in a continuous circle. The Pro Plus has an arc memory clutch, which prevents internal gear damage and returns the rotor to its prior setting automatically if the nozzle turret is forced out of adjustment. It has a watering distance of 22 to 50 feet, depending on which nozzle is installed and how the adjustment screw is set. This rotor comes with this set of nozzles. Let's talk about the various adjustments. Looking at the top of the rotor, this is the nozzle retention screw. It holds the nozzle in place and you also use it to set your watering distance. This is the keyhole. It's what you use to pull up the riser. The way you set the pattern on this is incredibly cool. Using this key or a flathead screwdriver, point the arrow here to the pattern that you want. Just like that. Let's go out in the field and make some adjustments. First, pull up the riser by inserting the rotor tool in this keyhole, turning one quarter turn and pull up. I'm using a hold up collar to hold the rotor up while I work. You can hold it up with just your hand if you don't have a collar. Now back out the nozzle retention screw. You want it out of the way of the nozzle, but don't back it out completely or you may be looking for a tiny little screw in the grass. Pull out the nozzle using a pair of needle nose pliers. Insert the new nozzle with the tab toward the top. The nozzle goes in at a downward angle. Screw back down the nozzle retention screw. You want the tip of the screw far enough down to break up the stream of water. Let the rotorizer back down. Now that we've started the water, I'm going to adjust the watering distance with the rotor tool by turning the nozzle retention screw. You want the water from this rotor to reach the next rotor over. That's called head-to-head -head coverage. Now I'm going to change the arc of the rotor from 90 degrees to 180. To set the left starting position, grab the entire riser assembly and turn. You'll hear a ratcheting sound and that's okay. You're not hurting the rotor. And here's how to not change the left starting position. The arc memory clutch prevents gear damage should the top part of the riser assembly get turned past the stop point. The arc setting will return to its original setting in this case. Remember, Sprinkler Warehouse has everything you need to make your trees, lawn, flower beds, and gardens lush and beautiful. Questions? Chat with one of our incredible customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really do know their stuff and they'll get you squared away. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for helpful tips, tutorials, and general sprinkler instruction. Sprinkler Warehouse, America's most shop sprinkler store.